When you get a new internet service provider and they promise you these really fast download speeds and upload speeds, what's the first thing you usually do? You run a speed test to make sure you're getting everything you're paying for. So, I thought I would try the same thing with this. On the Avid CNC website, they claim that this machine, the Pro 4848, will do a thousand inches a minute in rapids. And that's if you're using their NEMA 34 electronics, which is what I'm using. So I thought I would write a simple uh, speed test program just to see if it will really do what they say it will. I use VCAR Pro to make a simple speed test program that will move the x-axis, then pause, and move the y-axis. I have the rapid move set for different lengths from 45 inches to 5 and 5 eighths inches to see what kind of speeds it can reach. First, I'll start at 600 inches per minute. Next, I'll change the motor tuning to 800 inches per minute for the X and the Y axis. And finally, I'll change the motor tuning to 1,000 inches per minute. Okay, so if you were watching really close in the feed rate column, uh, down in the bottom right of the screen, you'll notice that if you were looking real close, uh, you'll notice when I was running it at 600 inches a minute, it could get up to 602, and when it did that final diagonal move, when it's moving both the X and the Y axis at the same time, it can get to 851. When I was running it at 800 inches a minute, it could reach 802 on each axis independently, and then when it was running a diagonal move, it would get 1135. When I was running it at 1000 inches a minute, it could get 1004 on the X and the Y by itself, or on the diagonal move, it even got as high as 1420. Now, 
What do all these fast speeds mean? Not really a whole lot. Because when you're doing programming, you should have an efficient program where it's not moving all over the table. Uh, you should always work in an area and then work around the part or whatever it is. You shouldn't really have a lot of back and forth moves. That's just a lot of wasted motion. And the other thing is that really makes uh, a machine faster is if it has uh, the stronger motors like this one now has the NEMA 34s. That's larger motors than uh, what I have on any of the other machines I have. So it has uh, more power to uh, hog at a, at a deeper depth and a, and a faster rate. So that's what really what makes the machine fast. But it was kind of fun doing the speed test just to see. And just like I thought, uh, you know, the Avid CNC website is correct. It will do a thousand inches a minute, just like they say. So there you go. There's my little uh, speed test. If anybody wants to try this speed test, you can send me an email and uh, go to my website, uh, davegatton.com, and click the little uh, email thing and send me an email. I'd be happy to send you this code if you want to try it. Use it at your own risk. Uh, you know, it's set up for a table that's uh, at least 4x4. Four four. If your table's smaller than that, you have to adjust the things. And if you don't know, if you don't know what you're doing with the uh, editing G-code, then uh, you probably shouldn't try to run it. But anyway, uh, if you want that, let me know and I'll try to get it to you. Uh, Alright, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this crazy speed test. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell below so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And I guess that's going to do it. So thank you very much for watching.